Yes, welcome back to Bikes of Rye. Now this cheap Honda Blackbird project has come such a long way since we first started. We have managed to strip the bike down, replace the engine, and are now well underway into building this Honda Blackbird back up to its former glory. Thing is, we are so close, but yet still so far from getting this cheap Honda Blackbird back on the road. So in this video, I want to make good progress. So how about we crack right on? Now the Blackbird has a linked braking system, which means when you apply the front brake lever, the system also provides force to the rear brake too. I want to lose this feature, and so installing these Hell braided lines will de-link the brakes. Starting with the front brake caliper, I loosen off the two banjo bolts, which obviously means hydraulic fluid will leak, silly old me. This foil container should help catch the fluid. I then repeat the same on the opposite side. And begin on removing parts of the linked braking system. Here we see how the brake lines channel from the front to the rear of the Blackbird. Right, in my haste to remove all of this gump here from the bike, and look how much there is that I'm removing. It's crazy, right? But yeah, I reckon I need to leave this bolt in place because I need to undo this little bolt here to allow me to strip that pipework and drop it off the bike. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to be coming off because I'm going to turn it. It's going to round the bolt. Look. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue stripping everything off. This pipe work leads down through the frame here into the back brake. So I'm hoping I'll undo that bolt and then it will allow me to pull all of this pipe work that way and then hopefully I can get around trying to undo any of these rusty bolts. At this point, we have disconnected the front brake from the rear brake, and so I begin to pretty much bend and twist these unwanted brake lines through the frame towards the front of the bike. And it worked. We managed to strip the link braking system away from the bike. So now we start on removing the rear brake lines. and installing our new Hell braided lines. All right, so the D-Link kit is almost complete. Basically, you have a blanking banjo bolt at the bottom. Top one is your braided line, and obviously the same this side too. And basically, should both just go through that little guide there, which I'll do those bolts up shortly. The rear in place, here we go. Two that go onto the back brake, and they're looking so much cleaner. However, I do have a problem. See, this is the original kit, 
and this is very rusty and I need this part here. But I'm putting a 10 mil spanner on that bolt there and it's pretty much rounding it off. Need to figure out how I'm gonna detach this because this part here goes into the bottom of this to attach to this part of the caliper. So it's very important that I get that part because it needs to fix into here. Onto the radiator now. We begin by removing the fan and other necessary parts ready to install onto our brand new radiator. Well, we might just have an issue because this new radiator I ordered from eBay for Honda Blackbird. It looks like it's the correct item. However, some of these holes here are not lining up as they should. And I've tried to bend the bracket slightly to see if I can improve that, but I'm not keen on doing so. Also, this, which I had an issue getting off the old radiator, doesn't seem to go on this clip here. If we compare the two, we can see this one is slimmer than this chunky one. So, oh, I don't know, do I bodge it on? I'm not sure. I mean, I could probably get it to fit. I don't know, what should we do? So what we do is attempt to make it all fit. So I think we've managed to get away with it. I've got all of the three bolts in place. I've cable tied this in situ. I think that should be okay. Got one of the old hoses in place, the rubbers and whatnot, some of the older screws. So I think this is pretty much ready to go on the Blackbird. All right, just to jump in really, really quickly and pause on the rebuild because I want to take this opportunity to clear a few things up and answer some of the common questions I've had since I started on this project. Now, in the last upload, you've seen that I lowered the black belt. I lowered the rear end by 15 millimeters and the front end by 15 millimeters. And you've asked me why I've done that. So I'm going to answer that for you right now. I have an end goal for the black belt. I have a vision in mind. So. If I lower the Blackbird, I can just see it looking that little bit more sleek, more modern, more aerodynamic. And I want this Blackbird to be a straight line rocket. I still have modifications to carry out on the Blackbird, which would be quite interesting. And if I add those modifications, there might be added benefits to having the bike lowered. However, if the bike has been spoiled and it has been ruined by me lowering the bike, I can always return it to standard. But let me tell you this. The project of mine, this Blackbird project, is something that I just want to have fun with. I want this Blackbird to eventually be a bike that will stand out from the crowd and be that little bit more different. So, plus it also needs to be interesting enough for YouTube. Second question I've had, and that is, why have I not powder coated the frame, for example, or why have I not taken the bike down to the last nut and bowl and restored it? Honestly, if I was to restore this Blackbird, well, firstly, I'm a newbie, right? I'm learning as I go. If I was to take the bike down to the last nut and bolt and try and rebuild the Blackbird back up, it probably won't end up on the road again. And secondly, to do a full on restoration on this bike, I have a budget, right? If I was to restore this bike back to a Blackbird that looks basically brand new, then I could probably go out and buy an SR71 spy plane itself for the amount that it would cost me to restore the Blackbird. So I have to be a little bit realistic. Also, I want to just take this opportunity to thank all of you, right? Because all of your tips and advice, they mean so much and they've helped me massively. I'm learning as I go, as I say, and all your advice, your tips and your tricks, I read all of your comments and I'm staggered at how much, how many of you actually comment on my videos. I get like roughly 200 thereabouts comments which is just mind-blowing and so thank you so much this isn't going to be the only project right there's going to be many more to come all of your tips and advice and everything that i learn as i go 
I'm going to put into action, right? And uh, who knows? I could end up being a complete master mechanic, right? So, but yeah, look, I just want to thank you all, right? It's, it, it does mean so much to me. And without you guys, I couldn't do it. And you're the reasons why I'm doing this, Blackbird. And I'm having so much fun in the process. Anyway, let's jump back to the Blackbird. Here we go. We've got the brand new water radiator in situ. Just let down slightly by the oil radiator, but we are on a bit of a budget with this build, so I can't replace everything. Moving on to installing the throttle bodies, I used the copper grease on the rubber joins in preparation to help slide the throttle bodies onto the engine. Tightened up the six fastening screws to clamp the throttle bodies to the engine. And right, so a real tricky part this was. Attaching the throttle cable to the throttle bodies was not fun. Wedging this screwdriver into the throttle body helped hold the throttle plates open, meaning the cable didn't have to stretch as much as I tried to hook it up. Honestly, this took me about 20 minutes of cursing as there was very little room trying to thread this cable through. But we prevailed and finally had a working throttle. So we are almost there with this Honda Blackbird. I need to just do a few odds and sods between now and the next upload. But let me tell you, the next upload will be its first start. How exciting. Let's hope it actually does run. So yeah, wrapping this one up, hope you enjoyed it. And let's look forward to the next installment of the Honda Blackbird. See you then and thanks for watching.